every now and then as companies and businesses grow, the processes become more clunky, sometimes more consumer unfriendly. And that I think is the most common mistake companies do. In the rush of digitization, they don't sometimes look at what their existing processes are mm. and whether that those processes need to be simplified first before they are digitalized uh, second. And I think that's the most important aspect before you jump onto the digitalization bandwagon. BFM 89.9, good morning, I'm Roshan Kanesan and welcome to a special four-part series here on Tech Talk where we are decoding digitalization with Maxis Business. In this third episode of the series, we will be covering the importance of leveraging technology to scale and grow your business. In an era where digital transformation is not just a buzzword but a pivotal strategy for success, businesses are increasingly turning towards using technology to drive growth and scalability. Whether it's harnessing the power of 5G connectivity, leveraging cloud computing for operational agility, or even employing data analytics for better decision making, technology is an enabler in all these. It can help businesses navigate rapidly evolving consumer demands, streamline and optimize operations, enhance customer experiences, and even open new channels for revenue generation. Today's discussion on leveraging technology to scale and grow a business aims to eliminate the various ways in which modern technologies can be harnessed to propel businesses forward. Speaking with us is Pratik Pashine, Chief Enterprise Business Officer of Maxis Business. Pratik, welcome to the show. Good morning, Roshan, and good morning, Malaysia. And a very, very happy new year to you all. Yes, it is 2024. Hard to believe 2023 has uh, come and gone already. And we're here looking at a bright year ahead. Um, so pretty, let's dive into it, right? We've got a big topic here on digitalization and technology. Um, this is the third part of the series, exploring all this. Um, talk, talk to us a little bit about the technologies that would help an organization grow and scale its business. There are a multitude of technologies, Roshan. Uh, cloud computing, 5G, artificial intelligence, robotics, blockchain. Uh, but it's not per se the technology that helps companies digitize or uh, make themselves more competitive in the market. It's mm. about the problem that you're trying to solve and the right technology uh, for that. Uh, sometimes it's a combination of technologies that solve a customer problem. But uh, it is important first to decide what are we trying to do? What is the goal that we're trying to achieve before we uh, home into a particular technology or a combination of technologies to solve that specific problem. So it's not about digitalization for digitalization's sake. That is correct. And which is counter to the the uh, the notion that you know digitalization is often considered as this panacea for all ailments in the business. If you have an issue, look towards digitalization and it will solve your problem. Um, so you, you're clearly clearly taking us in a direction where it's not right to think that digitalization will solve all your problems without kind of contemplating what it means to your business. Is it? Absolutely. I think digitalization is a means to an end. And that end is what companies, be it small or big, need to be very clear about. What, what does digitalization help in? Uh, it helps in reaching your customers better, uh, more effectively. Uh, it helps in managing and making your employees more productive. It helps in streamlining operations. And sometimes it actually helps you in disrupting the business model of that industry. Hmm. So it is very important to first know what am I solving for before jumping head on to say I'm going to digitalize. The other thing that the companies uh, often make a mistake is this: in the rush of digitization, they don't sometimes look at what their existing processes are hmm. and whether that those processes need to be simplified first before they are digitalized uh, second. And that I think is the most common mistake companies do. Uh, I think every now and then as companies and businesses grow, the processes become more clunky, sometimes more consumer unfriendly. And it is very important that you first understand the process, benchmark yourself with, with what's there out in the market. And sometimes, Across industry, there are companies and businesses and people who have created a better process, better simplified process. And I think that's the most important aspect before you jump onto the digitalization bandwagon. 
So if I understand that correctly, it sometimes is important to audit your processes before going into the digitalization stage because you don't want to be, as you mentioned, digitalization, uh, digitalizing processes that maybe aren't um, purpose suited at the point anymore. Absolutely. And I think uh, uh, the reason why this is important today, we know with dig digital technologies, even a startup can disrupt a mature industry. Mm. Airbnb did that, right, to the hotel industry, which was a capital intensive in, uh, industry. So it is very, very important uh, as companies grow, they're also becoming more and more rigid. And how do we make sure that we are always flexible, always thinking about newer ways of doing things? And that's, I think, where the dig uh, dig digitization comes in. It helps companies in making their processes simpler, better, more effective. Um, digitalization is often such a big word, right? It, it encompasses so many things there, and sometimes we can get lost in the jargon. Um, how would you break down this term into a way, if you were speaking to someone, to really get them to understand what this means? How, how would you explain it to them? I'll give you a couple of uh, examples. When a small, medium business uh, is running an operation, when I speak with the business owners, they often said that, you know, when my sales guy leaves, he or she carries with him the entire database of the business mm. because he has those contacts, uh, connects. He, he is the database. He's the database. <laughs> now, if you try telling a SMB that you need a CRM, he doesn't even know that CRM is customer relationship management software. But if you tell him that this is the problem that you're facing, the database, and how do you keep the records of the customer with you so that even if the sales guy leaves, you have the database with you, I think that conversation makes a lot more sense than throwing uh, jargon. So I think CRM, uh, or accounting packages, payroll packages, human resource information system, these are big words. And that actually overwhelm uh, SMBs from even adopting because they suddenly uh, feel they're completely out of, uh, fish out of water, right? Yeah. So for them, you are trying, to, each of these products and technologies are solving a particular need. For a small business to see that I have records of my customer, for the small medium business to say that I can, uh, if the customer contacts me by email or by phone or by chat or, or on my Facebook page, I have a unified communication, that's what he understands uh, mm. best. So don't throw the jargons, talk of a business problem and uh, uh, give a solution which solves this business problem. So with that in mind, uh, Pratik, what are the things to keep in mind when planning, uh, when an SMB is planning for digitalization? I think uh, Rome wasn't built in a day. So uh, I think that's uh, the adage which holds good. You can't solve all problems at one go. Uh, you shouldn't. Uh, prioritize what you're trying to solve for. If it is many customers, uh, especially the uh, businesses which are B2C focused, try to solve uh, how do I reach my customers better and how do my customers reach better. So they often take customer experience, customer connect as the journey, or as the process to digitalize first. Whereas somebody who's into manufacturing finds a lot of benefit by streamlining operations. Somebody who has a f staff, a large number of staff uh, who are out in the field, they want to track their employees to s make sure that they're being effective and they're going to the right place at the right time. They use employee-related uh, digitization uh, uh, solutions. So I think it's uh, fit for purpose uh, um, activities. Somebody would prioritize managing employees better, especially somebody with a big field force. Somebody would prioritize on customer connect. Somebody would uh, prioritize on uh, operational efficiency. Looking at your business and seeing what's really important for you. So if you're not a customer facing business, you may not need to manage that site through digitalization at first, at least. So everybody, every business is having some customer, right? That's yeah. that's how you exist. But if you have one or two customers uh, and you are a big supplier to those one or two customers, then that's not the uh, piece you have to solve for. You have to solve for saying, how do I make it cheaper, cost effective uh, 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 solution so that my customers don't uh, ever leave me and go with somebody else. So I would uh, streamline operations first. So that's a big part there. Are there any other factors that businesses should consider uh, when embarking on the digitalization journeys? Anything else that maybe you haven't already covered? I think uh, it is very important uh, 
to continuously benchmark yourself with what's happening in the market. Mm. Uh, we don't operate in a vacuum. Uh, there are nimble players. There are new players who are uh, disrupting the market. And I think it's very, very important uh, to know uh, what is happening in the market before you uh, uh, get on to the digitization program. Yes, uh, and uh, digitization can actually be a differentiator and a sustained differentiator that too. So you have to, I think, um, digitization or not, it's a strategy. And the strategy is saying, how am I going to operate in this market best? How am I going to beat my competition? The same strategies, then you say, okay, I'm going to beat competition by customer experience. If that's your approach, then you use the digitization tools and techniques to uh, create that differentiator for customer experience. If you're going to be the cheapest manufacturer of a particular item so that you're a uh, global base, then you uh, digitize your operations and uh, manufacturing facilities. So I think uh, it has to, digitization strategy has to be in line with your corporate strategy. What's your USP and use it to amplify that, make it better, make it cheaper, make it faster? Essentially using digitalization to amplify your USP, right? whatever that may be. Yeah, absolutely. The, it's mm. uh, As I said, digitization is a means to an end. Mm. You, uh, every company, business wants to win uh, in the market. Um, and towards that, it uh, deploys certain strategies. Digitization helps in achieving those uh, strategies. Now, a key part in digitalization is, is, uh, uh, will be the partners that you bring along in your journey, right? Solutions providers, among other things. Uh, what are the main factors to consider when choosing or deciding on service providers and partners uh, in this very important journey of a business? Few things. Um, See, when the small medium business is looking at digitization, uh, they are implicitly different than the large enterprises or the large businesses. Uh, why do I say that? They don't have a brand like mm -hmm. the big boys do. Uh, they don't uh, have the capital. And uh, they don't also have the resources. I mean, they don't have a 200 people or a 50 people IT organization. So it it's often left to the founder, the entrepreneur, to do all these uh, uh, decisions. And sometimes it can be overwhelming because I don't really know what I should do. So I think uh, the fundamental need, uh, uh, step that uh, the small businesses uh, uh, need to take is to find a partner who will act as their virtual CIO, as, as a trusted partner, somebody who's been there, done that, who has navigated this journey for various other businesses. So uh, there would be a lot of service providers in the market, uh, but uh, I would caution um, the companies from going to the cheapest uh, fly-by-night operator, if you will, uh, because the, the cost of a wrong digitization can be uh, huge uh, because it will impact your operations. So I would say somebody uh, who's got a national presence, uh, who has provided such services to uh, customers and somebody you implicitly trust in uh, is the right partner to go, go with. Bridget, can you share some examples with us of companies that are navigating their digitalization journeys uh, successfully? Oh, so there are, I think, uh, more companies uh, than there are not. Uh, <laughs> uh, everyone's uh, on this uh, journey and I think uh, COVID accelerated that uh, journey as well. So uh, there's a small boutique uh, hospitality travel uh, company which was uh, which had multiple channels for their customers to reach them and the experience to the customer depending on the channel they reached out was not uh, very good or consistent hmm. so they wanted to unify that customer experience uh, i should know that you've reached me out by email you've also uh, texted me i've also got a phone call and can i make that uh, communication to you uh, omni channel as they say uh, so we provided them with a cloud communication uh, integrated omni-channel experience, which basically meant that irrespective of which channel the customer reached you on, you knew that it's the same customer and you could respond uh, uh, effectively. Why cloud uh, made more sense? When we had to do this, we didn't ask customer to pay a upfront huge money because they wouldn't have, the smaller businesses wouldn't have a upfront capital expenditure to do this. So we made it into an OPEX model. Uh, which is 
everything as a service. Yeah. So uh, as they grew uh, their business and this only channel, they paid for it rather than being saddled with a upfront cost, which typically becomes a barrier to any digitiz digitization effort. So uh, this is a small uh, uh, travel booking company which uh, leveraged cloud communication platform to reach their customers more effectively. There are uh, there's a utility company in a, uh, a state in uh, Malaysia which used water meters for measuring the uh, water reading rather than sending a person to go and take the reading. Uh, there are losses associated with that apart from the uh, cost of uh, uh, visit and uh, reading the uh, meter. Uh, the meter reading was happening by the smart meter and uh, it related it, uh, it made their uh, reading uh, accurate, it made the reading timely, uh, resulting in uh, higher revenues for them and faster revenues for them. So uh, the examples are uh, very many. There was a construction company, a small construction company where uh, their sites would be typically outside the uh, city hmm. or remote areas and they wanted connectivity between multiple sites, also for their workers to communicate back to their families uh, because it was so remote in some cases that there was no good network. So they they modernized their uh, connectivity, uh, corporate connectivity, so that their workers can reach to the head office as well as their families better. So multiple uh, such examples of uh, how uh, companies have leveraged various technologies. And across sectors as well as illustrated by some of those examples there. Uh, Pratik, as we come to the close in this conversation, tell us about Maxis's services uh, that companies can then leverage on to help them grow and scale their businesses, very much in line with the entire conversation today. Sure. So we offer various solutions, um, connectivity, mobile and fixed, which is uh, how we started out as uh, as Maxis 28 years back. Uh, so connectivity, both mobile, 5G and 4G, uh, uh, fixed services, fiber to home, fiber to premises, fiber to businesses. Um, we provide cloud solutions, uh, both private cloud and public cloud. Um, we provide uh, various cloud communication solutions, voice solutions uh, that I talked about in the example. Uh, IoT is uh, big. Uh, to, uh, what are we doing? We are connecting people, we are connecting premises, and we are connecting things. Mm -hmm. So uh, IoT is where you're connecting, whether it's cars or energy meters or water meters or um, diesel generator sets. So uh, uh, IoT is a big uh, part of what we offer to our uh, uh, businesses. Uh, security is an implicit uh, requirement these days, uh, security of networks and security of cloud. So secure, security solutions is uh, yet another uh, uh, portfolio that we uh, cover. I guess, um, how can integrating Max's business solutions help SMEs in enhancing and scaling their operations efficiently? I mean, tying time back to many points that we've had in this conversation. So, see, we've approaching the segment uh, differently. Uh, even in SMB, it's not one homogeneous set. Yeah. There is a startup or a company with five to 10 employees uh, versus uh, a medium-sized company which has 50 to 100 employees and two or three offices uh, are there. For the smallest businesses, what we are doing is we are going to them with a single-stop solution proposition. Uh, we're saying you don't need to look any further. Look at... Uh, Maxis, uh, we will solve your productivity requirements, your uh, connectivity requirements, your voice requirements, your application requirements. We'll stitch it for you and bring it. And because uh, uh, it's Maxis so who's been uh, at the forefront of digital services for 28 years, you can trust us. Uh, we are your virtual CIO. Uh, for the larger uh, companies, we're not uh, uh, going with we'll solve everything because there would be unique requirements basis industry uh, and there would be unique solutions as well but uh, to the medium uh, size companies and large size companies we are going with this portfolio that i talked about connectivity cloud security and iot and that's what we are uh, uh, and we are saying when we'll solve for a problem we will not give you just point uh, 
solution and ask you to integrate. We'll do that as a managed services so that you focus on your business while we manage your networks and your cloud infrastructure ourselves. On that note, could you give us a sense for how Max's business tailors its solutions uh, to meet the different uh, needs of the businesses that you might be catering to? So we cater to our segments uh, in a different manner. For the large enterprises, we are organized by industry verticals. Uh, so we have sales and solution teams who would go and understand the customer requirement uh, and then come back with a unique or a bespoke solution for the large enterprises. Whereas for the small medium uh, businesses, we spend a lot of time internally to identify what are the personas that exist and what kind of solutions uh, would they need. And we do the internal tie-ups uh, tie with the other ecosystem uh, uh, providers, some productivity uh, software solution company, some uh, HR uh, solution company. We stitch it for them and take to uh, the market so that uh, they don't have to worry about uh, dealing with multiple vendors. They can deal with one service provider which stitches everything for them. Uh, Pratik, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Before we wrap up, uh, where can people learn more about what Maxis has to offer? We have a website, business.maxis.com.my, which lists down all our products, solutions, some of the customer testimonials, uh, case studies as well. And uh, in fact, for businesses, uh, they have uh, a resource that we have provided, which is to just understand their digital maturity index as well. Oh. So uh, a lot of uh, Companies have uh, leveraged that, use that to find out where they uh, stack up in the maturity. Uh, and we would be very happy to talk to them and uh, help them in their journey. But uh, our customers can reach us on business.maxis.com.my. Fantastic. Pratik, once again, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Folks, I've been speaking with Pratik Pashine. He is the Chief Enterprise Business Officer at Maxis Business. And we've been talking about the importance of leveraging technology to scale and grow a business. This is the third episode of a four-part series where we are decoding digitalization with Maxis Business. I'm Rushing Anderson. This has been Tech Talk on BFM 89.9, The Business Station. Mm -hmm.